Hi everybody, today's focus, let's talk about the differences between cleaners, sanitizers, and disinfectants. I think sometimes these terms get used interchangeably. Someone's cleaning something and they say I'm disinfecting or someone's disinfecting something but they're really just cleaning. So let's just talk about what each word cleaning, disinfecting and sanitizing actually means. Let's start with cleaners. Well, according to the EPA, cleaning removes dirt and organic matter from surfaces using soaps or detergents. Now the EPA doesn't regulate any cleaning products unless they have an additional claim to being a disinfectant or sanitizer. So when we think of cleaners, we think of things like soap and water. Can a cleaner remove germs? Yes. Does a cleaner have to remove germs? No. Here are some cleaners that I have videos about on this channel. All of these cleaners have no claims at all that they're able to remove bacteria or viruses. But you know from watching some of these videos that some of these cleaners are very effective at removing some bacteria. My favorite cleaners are Paul Olive Dish Soap, Dr. Bronner's, and The Pink Stuff. Let's move on to sanitizers. According to the EPA, sanitizing kills bacteria on surfaces using chemicals. It's not intended to kill viruses. So a sanitizer only kills bacteria. The EPA does register products that claim to be sanitizers. The CDC says that a weak bleach solution is a sanitizer as well as some sanitizing sprays. This Febreze Fabric Antimicrobial Spray has no claims of being anything except a sanitizer. It only claims to remove bacteria. But we should make a note here that some disinfectants also have directions on their label as to how to use them to sanitize. Next we have our disinfectants. So according to the EPA, disinfectant kills viruses and bacteria on surfaces with chemicals. The EPA does register disinfectants. They actually have many lists of disinfectants. Uh, one real popular one that you can search for really easy, I think it's um, the EPA's end list, which are all the disinfecting products that have claims to kill coronavirus. So you can search by the surface type that you're trying to clean, the active ingredient, wait time, all sorts of different factors on the EPA website. Some very common disinfectants are isopropyl alcohol, thymol. We saw that with Clean Boss and the seventh generation disinfecting wipes, hydrogen peroxide, bleach, etc. These should all be able to kill bacteria and viruses when you follow the label's instructions. Usually, uh, they'll give you different contact times for what you're trying to kill. On this channel, I like to test different products to see if their claims match my real world results. However, I can only test for bacteria, but what I usually do is follow the disinfecting uh, directions because I feel like most people in their homes are going to follow the disinfecting directions. I think most people, let's say if you're going to use Clorox wipes, you're going to use them to disinfect both bacteria and viruses. Don't think there are many people who are going to use a disinfectant, but stop and say, I only want this to kill the bacteria in my home, not the viruses. If you haven't seen any of my product test videos, what I do when I'm testing a product's efficacy for removing bacteria is I take a petri dish just like this guy here and I label it A, B, and C. Then I take some sterile swabs and I swab various areas around my home. Usually I'll swab the kitchen counter, kitchen sink, bathroom sink, and the toilet rim. Then I place those samples on separate petri dishes in the section B for before. Then I use whatever product I'm testing, whether it be a cleaner, disinfectant, or sanitizer. I follow the label directions. Then I take another sterile swab, swab the area again, and place that in A for after. C is my control. I don't put anything there. 
testing like this gives us a nice visual of the before and after cleaning by having those samples side by side. You can see in most of my product testing videos that you'll have petri dishes that look like this. We'll have some where there's a lot of bacteria in the before section and none on the after. We have some where there's a lot of bacteria in the before and there's still a lot in the after. It gives us a nice visual so we can see how much bacteria a product is removing. As a recap, Cleaners just remove the surface dirt, uh, sticky substances. They do not have to remove bacteria or viruses, but they might be able to. A sanitizer only removes bacteria, and a disinfectant can remove both bacteria and viruses. If there is a product that you would like me to test, put it in the comment section and I will put it on my viewer request list. I also have an Amazon wish list in the description, as well as my mailbox address if you want to mail me something to test. Make sure you send me an email, that's also in the description, so I know that you sent me something to test. Take care. Have yourselves a great day.